Welcome back everybody, this is Joe at Briley Manufacturing, I'm one of the gunsmiths here. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to install the Briley Easy Lever in your Beretta shotgun. This particular one's an A400. Um, so first step uh, is going to be removing this pin before we get there. We already have an Easy Lever in the gun, but the removal process will be the same no matter what sort of latch you have in there. So first step is going to be pushing this roll pin through. It is a small roll pin, so you do want to try to uh, prevent it from rolling around and, and getting out of hand. Uh, you can lose it very easily. Ask me how I know that. So I'm going to take my 16th inch punch and start tapping that through. And that's inside my receiver. I just want to actually rolled out. So I'm going to put that somewhere safe so I don't lose it. Now the next step with that removed is actually to get the pin that retains your latch assembly out of the gun. And one of the best ways to do this is actually with a paper clip to start it off. So you're going to want to put pressure against your spring in your latch assembly. And you're going to want to insert your paper clip to start that pin coming out. And this can be a bit of a hassle just based on how everything lines up. But once we have it started out the bottom with our paper clip, we want to try to get it as far out as possible because I actually prefer to grab it with a pair of pliers when possible. So not quite enough out yet to start grabbing it with pliers. But with our paper clip, we're going to keep at it and try to angle it around to get that pin a little bit further out. As my vice jaws fall to the floor. And we're slowly making progress there. So now there's a little bit more that I can grab with my pair of pliers. So I'm going to pull that out further and then I can actually just take it out with my hand. Now from here, our latch assembly is free to come out of the gun. And we have our complete latch assembly. You can see here our spring is retained on the latch body itself. And this is one of the easy lever latches already installed on there. I'm gonna move the complete gun out of the way to now show you the process of removing your actual articulating latch piece there. You have a pin that retains the latch with a spring underneath it. So you're just going to put spring pressure against the back part of the latch itself. Start pushing that pin all the way through. With it halfway out, you can grab it with your hand. You do want to keep spring pressure on there the whole time. Your pin will come out. Now the pin comes out. Your spring is loose in the cup there. And that's your actually uh, your latch itself. This is the easy lever component that you will receive when you order this. Installation is as simple as reversing that process. So you're going to put your spring back in the cup and press it into the body there. And you take your pin that you have. And it can be a bit troublesome sometimes to keep spring pressure against these components while you're putting that pin through. So you just got to stay with it. I was actually able to get it on the first go, started the pin in there, and then you're just going to make sure that your holes line up so that you could push the pin all the way through. And that's the installation of your latch component of your easy lever. So you have your entire latch assembly here ready to go back in the gun. So to finish this, I'm going to grab my soft vice jaws so that I can put the receiver in the vise. Because 
that makes life a lot easier in the demonstration and installation of this. So with our receiver now in the vise, we can reinstall the latch assembly with our easy lever installed. You're going to need your pin here, and in particular, this pin will only go in one way. The rounded end goes into the receiver first. So you have a flat end and a rounded end. So you're going to take your easy lever. I'm just going to adjust this in the vise here. And our pin, when we start to insert it, is going to go into this hole here. So we can insert the latch assembly into the receiver. And apply spring pressure to it. And we're going to put the rounded end of this retaining pin in first. And you just want to make sure it finds its hole there. And it started in there, and it will drop down. It's not a very tight fit for that pin. And you can just press it all the way through until it stops. And it'll stop in there. It can only go so far, it only comes out one way. So from here, our easy lever is in the gun. Now comes the more annoying task of reinstalling that small roll pin that I told you not to lose before. So with that roll pin being so short, there are not many roll pin holders that can actually uh, hold it for you while you're reinstalling it. So oftentimes, if I can manage, I use just a roll pin punch. And I try to start it in there with that, holding them together. So I'm going to hold that pin in there against the punch and start tapping that through and it's started. And you just want it to be a little bit flush, maybe a little bit below the surface even. Just tap it a little bit more. And right there is good. And you just want to give it a feel on the inside of the receiver, make sure that it's not protruding through inside the receiver. And then from here we can install the paddle, which is a color of your choosing, with the supplied screw and Allen key. Actually, sometimes it's easier to start the Allen key threading by hand first, just to get it started. As long as I don't fumble it. And there, the threads are started. And then you can finish threading it in with your Allen key. And then you can tighten it up. It doesn't need to be crazy tight, but that's good enough. Now the easy lever and its paddle are installed inside the Beretta receiver.